Thanks for staying with us. And Bill O'Reilly in the Culture Warrior segment tonight while watching the Michael Jackson coverage from Switzerland, primarily on CNN and BBC because the Swiss have not yet engaged Fox News. I got frustrated pretty quickly. Many news people apparently think Mr. Jackson was some kind of hero because he could sing and dance. To be fair, you had to cover a story like this, as the man was one of the most successful entertainers in history. But to spin it into some kind of glorification is flat out dishonest. Here now, the culture warriors, Fox News anchor Juliet Huddy, in for Margaret Hoover, and Fox and Friends co-host Gretchen Carlson. So, Carlson, you got to deal with this every morning. Are you getting a little tired of dealing with this stuff? Even extra early, the morning after Michael Jackson died. Yes, I personally... I'm very tired of this story. Mm -hmm. Our viewers, our core viewers, are tired of this story. However, I will tell you that the very next morning after his death, the minute we tried to do any other kind of a news segment, which I was a proponent of, our ratings went down. Sure, sure. The drive-by people who don't watch cable news but want this story, but, and there are a lot of them. But here's the issue. I feel that it's a disservice to the American public to cover this story 24-7. We passed, at least the House did, cap and trade. The day after Michael Jackson died, we are talking about reforming health care in this nation to change America like we've never seen yeah, before, can, and the American public does not know the, that full look, story. Look, we can cover those stories uh, next week or whatever. I understand, and I said this at the top of the program, uh, I wasn't coming back from Switzerland, Huddy, for Michael Jackson. It ain't going to happen. All right. Heck no, um, and and, and Heck everybody no. in Fox News knows whenever I go on vacation, a big story is going to break. That's <laughs> always what happens. But this, I'm, I'm just not. And I, and I also... Uh, absolutely think that our core is right we're overplaying it but we're in a competitive industry and we need to, we have to compete and that's what you have to do in america that's exactly now the other media i haven't seen this I too disagree much on with Fox. that by the way well you have to uh <laughs> the uh, look if we pay you a lavish salary <laughs> to get that salary you have to have eyeballs watching so that's the name of that game but the other media i haven't seen this too much on fox mm -hmm. They're glorifying the man, are they not? They are. They are glorifying not the, the man. Not the entertainer. They're glorifying the man. They are glorifying the man. And you don't, you expect, you know, that the VH1s and the MTVs to have the, you know, the ode to Michael Jackson and things like that. Because they're not in the business of giving objective news coverage. That's fine with me. I mean, I get it. But when you have... You know, heavy hitters. I'm not just talking about, you know, the reporters. Well, Katie Couric is there. Gibson is there well, for know, the there memorial service. That, Greta is there. Yes, there was one network that up until, I think, yesterday, Sunday, was planning on just doing a one-hour special on Tuesday night. And all of a sudden, they changed their minds, and now they've sent their Who's big this? wigs there. This is NBC. Um, changed their minds. They were just planning on doing well, the one-hour special Well, they're in the same night. position that Fox is in. They have to compete with the other networks. The other networks are Why not take a stand and say this man has because been accused? He wasn't convicted. No, he wasn't. Neither was O.J. Simpson. You can't I, seed the audience like that. It ruins your whole month of, of ratings. So people have to understand this is like Major League Baseball or football. You can't lose three games in the season. We're all in the industry. We know yes, ratings right. are You can king. cover it in a, in a particular way. And by the way, and I, I, think just, that's I disagree doing with here. you. Some people would say that cap and trade, that we should just cover Michael Jackson for that week and let that go by. Right. I, I'm sorry, I think that's an extremely important issue. Cap and trade is going to make people Carlson. I think that's an extremely important issue. With Michael Listen, it is an important issue, one... Carlson. There are a lot of important issues. Nobody's going to sit there and watch cap and trade. I'm all for a good mystery. It's like cap and gap. <laughs> that's why I'm They're a not going to watch it. If right? we have new information about what happened to Michael Michael Jackson, then by all, you know, whatever, we should say Fox News alert, we figured out what killed Michael Jackson. What about what was happening with Iran and the, you know, the, the post-election protests? When we they covered that all, all, they all over They did, and interestingly, for that week, the week that Michael Jackson died, uh, the Pew Research poll, I think it was, was saying they were, you know, watching the news coverage, and they said the coverage of Iran was about 19 percent, coverage of Michael Jackson was 18 percent. When you look at the day that Michael Jackson died and the, the next day, Friday, it was 60% Michael Jackson coverage, and Iran was 7%. Okay, but and the I've Iranian seen... story is pretty much over. Now, i got to get into a couple of things specifically. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked briefly about the racial component. And yeah. in the Pew study that you cited, Huddy, and very good, Huddy's done her research, it can be a culture warrior. <laughs> um, black Americans are much more engaged in watching this stuff than white Americans, even though Michael Jackson has white children, and he chose to have white children, and the face deal, I don't even want to get yes, into. But he was so what's that racial thing all about? He was the first African-American entertainer to cross that barrier. To, be to liked cross what by, barrier? To be liked by both whites and blacks. Not yeah, only Motown, Motown did that. He was the Mo first African-American No, no, no. Motown did that for 20 years before he came on. Uh, he wasn't the first crossover artist. There were plenty of guys. Now, he was Not, the most successful. Exactly. But 
the black community in America, Sharpton is there, Jackson is there, are rallying to this, and I'm going, what? There's no racial component to this story at all. I understand that point, and we're also not focusing on the, the pedophile accusations Because we can't, him. because he was acquitted. We can't he, to be well, fair. Well, he was acquitted as OJ was acquitted. Yes, also, that's true. He also admitted to not sleeping guilty. with little boys that were not his the children. The only thing you can say with certainty is what he did with children was inappropriate. And it is wrong for an adult to do what he did. But you he's can forgiven say that. because he's an entertainer and exactly. he's considered quirky, you know, which, you know, sort of alludes to being cute. It's, it's, he's a, he, he was a freak. And I the mean, way, let's be honest. He was, whoa, whoa, whoa. He was and, addicted and the, and the to okay, all right. If, if he was, off. as you said, a freak. What does it say about the U.S. media making him into a hero? Which is this my is why point. This is why this, we're here. This Dr. is Carlson. why celebrities are not convicted of crimes because we feed the American public with this type of information, increasing their viability as a celebrity to this status that is above the rest right, of the so American you, public. So I got to run. But what you guys are saying that if you're a talented actor, musician, athlete, whatever, if you can entertain, that overrides everything else that you do. And you are then de deified by the U.S. In media. In 2009, right. that is where we have come. All right. Well Ladies, said. culture warriors, nice job, honey. Thank Thanks you for being here. Awesome.